You also have the option to use immersive reader uh, within Teams, OneNote, Word and other types of Microsoft software. To do that, if you go to the three dots here and then choose immersive reader, it will take you um, into immersive reader where you can then change the options to suit your own preferences. So for example, if I leave it as it is and just press play, it will read the text out to me. Miss Williet Wednesday, the 22nd of April, 2020, 30. Accessing resources. Accessing resources. Hi all. I hope everyone is well. I just wanted to check and see how everyone was doing. I have made a short video to remind you how to access resources from home. Okay, so you can see that I'll read it out to you. Um, unlike Reader Mick Gold, it's certainly more American, um, but it's still pretty good to have that you can have it on, on most software even if you don't have read and write at home so it can be really useful. If you want to change the speed you can still do that so for voice settings you can change it between female and male um, and you can change the speed of the voice if you want to speed it up or slow it down. You've also got options in the top right hand corner here so if you want to change the text preferences you can, you can change the size, you can turn off the increased spacing and you can also change the font to suit if you prefer a different colour as your background, you can do that as well. Um, there's more options. Let's go for go back to yellow, I think. Um, to change the theme so that the background suits whatever colour you prefer. Um, you can also go to the next option, which is grammar options. So at the moment it's set to show nouns in purple and adjectives um, in green. You can either turn these off or on, depending on which ones you want to show. Um, you can also split the words into syllables if that helps you and you prefer to, to read it out that way. Um, you've also got the option here for line focus. So if you want to show three lines, then you could read that way. Um, or you can have it split just to one line there. Or equally, you could turn it off if you if you don't want to have that on. Um, you can translate the text into a different language as well. Um, so if I wanted to change it into Croatian. And I'll do the whole document and you can see it's, it's changed that for me as well. Miss Wiley, you see it. 22 Travan, 2021, 11 and 30. Okay, so that can be useful um, if English is not your first language. So again, I'll probably change that back for now. Um, you've also got the option for a picture dictionary, which you can leave on or you can turn it off. So for example, um, if I want to see video, a wee bit old fashioned maybe, but there's video. I will also read it out video. for me separately. Video. Or short, to demonstrate things that are short. Problems. So you can see that the um, picture dictionary could be of use as well. But again, if you don't want it, you can switch that off. Once you're finished, you can click the back arrow and it will take you back to the main part of your Teams page.